Let's start with prototyping tip number one. In Figma, if you have to create a prototype and you have multiple screens like this is home, explore, profile, settings. So the usual way is you will select this, you will go to prototype, you will stretch it out over here. Similarly, you will take the prototype, you'll go over here and settings, you will go over here. And similarly, you will do the same for this one as well. Like you will connect the home from here, profile from here, setting from here right and similarly you'll have to do the same for profile and settings as well but don't you think it's too much work can we fix it yes we can so let's look at the other example that I have over here so here I have just one navigation which I have made in the form of a component so this is a component that I have created now what I'll just do is I will create the navigation from here like explore is here profile is here setting is here right so I I have just attached this to the navigation which is a component right so I'll just make now the things so I'll just go over here and you see that it is already connected similarly I'll copy the same to the next one where I'll just change the design a little bit I'll take the black from here which is something like this and I'll make this gray or the color this is and similarly I'll just copy it over the next one I'll just make the profile black this time and this can be gray or the brown the dark brown so now what you have to look at is that in this one I didn't have to connect all this because if I go over here and see the prototype you'll see that this is already connected and one thing that I think I missed over here is I can just connect this one to home as well because what that will do is that if I even come over here the home is already connected right so this is the easier way to go about it and now let's look at the prototype so here as you can see the explore is working profile is working settings is working you see just by using the component and just adding the links over there I was able to create this entire prototype I hope this will save you a lot of time let's go to tip number two if I have to make this interaction of toggle button what I'll have to do is I'll have to first come over here select this in the prototype mode click on this and that's when I go over here if I come over here I click on this I go here and similarly there is a lot of permutation combination that is going to happen don't you think it's a lot of work and who's going to do all that your papa so here's the easy way of doing it to make it simpler what we'll do is we have two components over here which is a part of the variant where I have created this off toggle and on toggle right so what I'll do is I'll just make it on click change to this and uh, on click change to this right so I've just created between the two simply it should work and now what I'll just do is I'll just take this and replace the toggle over here and I'll do the same with this one as well so let's look at what happens now and if I click on this this works if I click on this this works amazing and if I click back on this this again works and this works so by just using the variants where I have prototyped the toggles it just saves me four screens if you like that make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we can keep bringing you back great content let's go back to tip number three so here I have created a frequently asked questions and here I have put everything in a auto layout so here is how it works so if I click on something it just expands so smoothly so auto layout and smart animate actually together works like magic so here's how I've done it. So for this, I've just created an auto layout with all the items and applied smart animate over here. What that actually does is that smoothens the interaction between the two screens for that I get this amazingly smart animate over here. So let me show that if I don't apply smart animate over here, what will happen? So if I click on this, this is a very abrupt sort of motion that you see. I'll just plug it back over here. Now if I show you without smart animate and using auto layout, if I click on this, this is very abrupt sort of motion that you can see. But similarly, if I show you for the one where I have applied smart animate, the motion is so smooth that you can see the arrow turning as well. Let's talk about tip number four. You have seen all those header menu where you click and it scrolls to a position. How do you create that in Figma? So here I'll show you an example. So let's say this is the about section of the page and there is about over here. So I'll just go here 
and select this about and just take this and connect with the section right here you will see a few options so on click scroll to about us it's the same i just want to add the y offset so that it takes extra like it doesn't just start here it actually starts over here the screen actually shows some of the gray part as well because sometimes what happens is we actually don't give a lot of top padding so what we need is to give some y offset for that so i'll just say minus 90 over here i'll say animate i'll say ease in and ease out so that like you know there is some delight to it and i'll say 800 and i'll just go over here click on this and it starts to load and i will click on about and you see that it shows some gray part and it scrolls through that position so now all those interactions that were not possible earlier you can actually explain to the developers by showing now let's move on to the tip number five let's say i have created these testimonials over here i have put them in auto layout and by selecting this i have moved them slightly towards the right by giving this 197 over here or you can add it over here as well and then one thing that i did because if you don't do this this will not work i went to prototype i said horizontal scrolling means that they will be able to scroll in the x axis right so they will be able to scroll over here now what i'll do is i'll just simply go and select this one i'll go and select this similarly i'll select the b i'll select the second card similarly i'll select the c option and uh, i'll select the c card animate and this is also going to be animated. And now if I go and play the prototype, let's see what happens. So it's A, it goes to B, it goes to C, right? And similarly B, A, right? And if you want, and you can actually give it some offset. So I'll say 90 so that it slightly comes in the middle. And if I go over here, I say this A, B and C. So it actually creates the slideshow for you. A, B, C, B, A, C, right? It's the same property that we use for page on scroll in the landing page. And we are able to use the same over here. You can make the slideshow. You can actually trigger it with dots. So you can make all those kind of sliders and slideshows if you want to. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to check out more figma tips check out this video i have created on seven figma tips to 7x your productivity in figma i'll see you in that video till then happy designing